everyone, Justin Crumley here with the Cujo Productions channel. Welcome to another edition of Cujo Productions Sports Talk. Uh, big news coming out of the MLB today. The Detroit Tigers have traded left fielder Justin Upton to the Los Angeles Angels in exchange for minor leaguer Grayson Long. And... Uh, I believe they also got a uh, a player to be named later and and or cash consider or, or cash considerations. I don't know if that's if that's still like part of the deal or not, but uh, they did get Grayson Long, a pitching prospect. I'll get more into him in just a second. I want to focus on Justin Upton uh, first. Um, so I want to give you an idea of what the Angels are getting out of Justin Upton this year. He's batting a two seventy nine. With 28 home runs and 94 RBIs. So this guy is definitely a pretty damn good hitter. He's been hitting pretty well uh, this year. And uh, a lot of Detroit Tigers fans such as myself would say this guy was one of, if not the only reason that the Tigers were even worth watching this year. Uh and I mean barely at that. I don't I don't get to watch a lot of games anymore because I'm just constantly, I got something to do, but, uh, yeah, Justin Upton definitely was one of the bright spots on an otherwise pretty miserable season for the Tigers and Tigers fans. I wouldn't say he was the only thing. Uh, Michael Fulmer's definitely been a lot of fun to watch. And, I mean, Justin Verlander, a fan favorite, so why not? There was also talk of uh, him being traded, too. As far as I know, that didn't happen. So, anyway, Justin Upton, the Angels are getting a good player out of this guy. This guy, as I just rolled over the stats, he's hitting very well. I think the Angels will make some very good use of him. And uh, he was also, uh, there was also talk that he was going to opt out of his contract with Detroit. So, trading him was definitely a necessity because the Tigers are essentially going into a rebuild. And for a guy like Upton, who's 30 years old, he's in his prime, he doesn't want to be part of a rebuild. And I don't blame him. I, I, he's, in, he's in a spot where he wants to win now, so he should absolutely go to a team that's ready to win. Now, I don't know if the Angels, I don't know how they're doing. I Admittedly, I haven't, I didn't check the standings uh, before looking into this, so... I don't know. Who knows? Maybe, maybe uh, considering they were buying, not selling, I would assume that they're in a good spot. I, I do apologize for not doing all my research on this, but I just want to talk about Upton and give a little idea on Grayson Long. Um, but yeah, overall, I think the Angels are getting a great player out of Justin Upton. They're definitely going to enjoy him. He's uh, a great bat and a uh, pretty good left fielder, so... Overall, great athlete, great player to have. Uh, very happy for the Angels. Now let's talk about Grayson Long. Now I don't know a whole lot about this guy. I don't. I, I don't know if he's going to be any good. I guess he does have a very bright future. A lot of uh, experts do say that he he could be a good starting uh, starting pitcher in the MLB. So. Anyway, he's 23 years old. He was just promoted to the Angels AA minor league affiliation this year. Now, a lot of people find that kind of, like, they're a little fearful of that because he's 23 and in the double in AA minor league. Here's the thing. He was drafted in 2015, third round. So, he's only been in the MLB for about two years. He was drafted in the third round out of Texas A&M. So, considering it's only been a couple of years, it's actually not too bad. If the Tigers can develop him, I do think he can definitely offer something. Now, I want to talk about his numbers in uh, this year. He has a 2.52 ERA, which is really good. A 1.13 whip. Alright, and 111, 111 strikeouts in 121 and two-thirds inning, innings pitched. This year, so this this guy's actually not too bad. I think this is actually a pretty good trade. This is definitely uh, what I've wanted the Tigers to do, because in my opinion, pitching wins championships. 
Look at the Tigers in 2012 when they played against the Giants in the World Series. The Giants shut them down. Their pitching absolutely shut down the Tigers' big bats. 2013, the Red Sox shut down the Tigers' big bats. And they they badly exposed a very piss-poor bullpen. So, yeah. And, uh, I do think this is actually a pretty good trade. And if Grayson Long works out, then it works. It works for Detroit. Um, so, my overall opinion on this is actually quite very much different from the majority. Um, I do like this trade. A lot of people are flipping their shit and they're and they're up in arms and and all this anger and and this fucking anger and and hatred towards this trade. You know what? The Tigers have made a shitty trade this year. I I go back and watch my JD Martinez trade video. I was very much against that. This trade right here, I don't understand the outrage. I mean, yeah, Upton was one of the only good things for the Tigers this year, but he was he was. Sounds like he was going to opt out of his contract anyway. So what do you do? Do you take the risk of maybe, maybe not? He might be here. He might not. Or do you pull the trigger, trade him, and then get something in return? Have a have a fail safe, in a, in a manner of speaking. I really don't see why why people are so mad about this. This is a move for the future. And I just told you Grayson Long's numbers. So again, I I don't. I just don't understand the anger and the frustration behind this one. I think this was this was actually a good move for for the Tigers. Now, will it work out? That remains to be seen. But as of right now, I'm actually not mad about this. I actually really do like this trade. And again, for Justin Upton, you have to figure he's 30 years old. He's in his prime. He wants to win. Being a part of a rebuilding team... It's just not in the cards for a guy like him, and I don't blame him. So at the end of the day, I think this was a good trade for both sides. The Angels got a reliable left fielder and a damn good bat. The Tigers got a pitcher who could be a rising star. Who knows? Uh, Anyway, guys, that's all I got for you uh, today. Well, for right now, later on, I'm going to upload another video, but it has nothing to do with sports. It's a comic book-themed video, so be on the lookout for that. Uh, Be sure to subscribe to my channel, Uh, check out my Facebook page, check out my Redbubble page if you want to buy any of my merchandise, and also check out my Twitter page. Links to all that in the description below. Uh, Thank you so much for watching, guys. I really do appreciate it. Have a great day. If you're not having a great day, I hope it gets better. Until next time, I'm Justin Crumley, and this is Cujo Productions, signing out.